at least like I'll tell you this one experience I had once, which which I've told a few people, and and I, I know some people just didn't get it. Some people were, were like, whatever, this guy's fucking crazy. I think, <laughs> but it was this weird thing where um, I was literally working at a computer. I was in my home office, um, like my home office, my other house is in a basement. Uh, my wife, my kids were upstairs, and this was about maybe five, six years ago. Uh, and I'm just sitting there, you know, working this and that. And, and I, I think you've seen my office. I have usually like multiple monitors, right? Mm -hmm. And and on one of the monitors on the side, I just had this video playing. It was, uh, I think it was a guy who he came, who it was like one of these YouTube you suggested videos, I think. I'm pretty sure it was from YouTube. It was um, a guy who's, uh, he was channeling some like ghost or something. And he's they're, they're, they're speaking through him, I think. That's what it was. And and I remember specifically, I'm like working on this computer, da, 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 and I just look over at someone, and I'm like, man, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? And this guy's just literally sitting there, and he's like, oh, he's in me, he's in me, and like, oh, makes these faces, I'm like, what, <laughs> you know, like, and that's not really bad acting, like, that's what I'm thinking, right? And then yeah. suddenly his voice changes a little bit, and he starts talking and saying, uh, you know, like, oh, you know, f f I forgot exactly how it was, but it was like, uh, I, uh, I know you're listening, right? Uh, you're listening to me right now and it was like literally i think he said like he said most of you are, are not going to hear this but the few that are you know i want you to stop everything you're doing right now and just just follow along with me and i'm like okay and like that kind of just got my attention a little bit and i was like okay you know i kind of stopped for a moment and then he goes uh, tom and some other name and i think he said like three names I know you're listening and I'm like, okay, that's a little weird, but I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, well, I don't know. Maybe he just picked random some names. Maybe he does yeah, these videos. He just really common. What he thought to be a common name. that. Uh, yeah, exactly. And here's, like, here's what I'm saying. My skeptical mind is just going, whatever, you know, this guy's bullshit. But I remember I was like a little tired to the thing. So I just stopped. I put away my mouse and I'm just like looking at this video. I'm like, okay, okay. And then he says something like, uh, if concentrate on like I think it was something yeah, concentrate on the point between your eyebrows so I was like okay and I'm like and he's it was pretty like very direct like direct like the, this direction that he gave to do this do that breathe in now slowly close your eyes and you breathe out you think of this and this and then it like repeat repeated a few times and do it I don't know what happened but like it seemed like like I it, it almost like I got drunk or something and I don't remember the moment or like, you know, when you fall asleep, but you don't remember the moment when you fell asleep. Right. But it was weird because instead of falling asleep, not being aware of what's happening, I became, I mean, the best way I can explain it is almost like I was infinitely more aware of everything. So like, 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 like right now, you know, how do you know something's happening or it's because you either see it you can hear it, right? Touch it, whatever. Your senses, right? If exactly. it's out, outside of your senses, you're going to be like, you know, well, I don't know. Maybe it didn't happen, right? Well, suddenly it's like, I, it was almost like, I, I remember because I was sitting there and at first I started feeling like I felt the floor, like literally the floor, even though I was sitting on the chair with my feet up, I, I felt like I, I could feel the weight of me and, and then the weight of the floor almost pushing against the chair. And I literally felt as if I was the chair. I mean, it sounds fucking weird, but I'm telling you, like, as if I was the chair and I'm touching the floor and I'm like, what the fuck? And then it starts spreading, this feeling. And it l literally gets to a point where I can feel like, I remember I heard the vibrations and like this stuff happening in the computer because I had the computer and it's, my computer is pretty quiet, but suddenly I heard like this fan, <laughs> electrical things happening. And I'm like, what the fuck? What the? And I'm just sitting there, like just think, think, sitting there and going, Oh my god, I can feel this. Like it wasn't like I like I heard it or something. Yeah. It's a weird feeling, but I literally I I felt it. And I remember to the point where I started laughing at myself and I'm like this is cool, but this is a fucking weird dream. Like I must have <laughs> and I I'm thinking, I must have been hypnotized. I must have been hypnotized, right? And then right. it starts spreading and I feel like I remember I could feel like outside the, like the the grass moving in the the trees cuz we have like right right outside the wall at my backyard there in my office and then it starts spreading and i literally go upstairs and then i feel my wife being angry angry and then my kids being like a little scared and, and sad and then i literally was and i couldn't hear what was happening you couldn't think 
but it was just like uh, I felt like like literally like I could feel both my kids and my wife and and you know this like she's angry and this and that and they're kind of scared and I'm like oh my god what the fuck is going on with that? and then I snapped out of it like that and it felt like it was pretty fast like maybe three four seconds it's just this weird feeling like oh spread spreads and then thing and then I'm like okay what the hell happened and then you know I'm like looking around looking around and then I remember I looked at the clock because I had my, like a deadline that I was working on and I'm like the shit what the hell like it's i think it was like close to an hour that passed so after that i was like whoa okay that was trippy <laughs> like, so like, like four seconds but it was actually an hour yeah yeah and then i remember i got up and i ran upstairs and i had like almost like tears in my eyes because i felt just weird and i ran up to my wife and then my wife was like scolding my two kids about something they spilled or whatever and i'm like baby, baby, it's okay. It's okay. The kids are scared. And then she's like, what? And then she's like, what happened to you? Why are you crying? And I'm like, I don't know, but I felt it. Like I felt your thing. And she's like, what do you mean? And she got freaked out, I think. But my wife is cool because my wife is very traditional in many ways, but she also will believe anything. Like pretty much like if I, like um, me, if I tell her she, or, or, or not, not so much that she believes it, but she doesn't really ridicule it. She's like, oh, okay. Okay. Tell me more. That kind of thing. Right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she doesn't right away. Like, put it down but dude that was the weirdest experience it was kind of amazing and kind of almost scary at, uh, at the same time and i remember i came down i was looking for that video i wanted to experience it again because i was like this was weird and i could right. never find that video again i looked fucking everywhere i tried after that i remember like different meditations and that's when i got into like, a lot of these like started downloading these apps for meditation you don't remember exactly what they said to you like, no I, I, I don't remember it was it was sort of like what some of these meditators when i started then go going and getting into that whole world like these meditators say like where you're again you're like imagine a light in your forehead or like a third eye or these like, different things but i tried all these things none of them worked it was just this weird thing where I was being so skeptical to the point where I was laughing at this guy and I had this weird fucking experience. So to this day, I'll tell you this because I tried to rationalize it after and the more I tried to rationalize it, the more fucking crazy it seemed. Like I, it, it seemed like I was fucking going nuts. All I remember is that I kept on going back to one fact. I'm like, I could have imagined me sitting and, and feeling the floor through the chair or, or feeling what's happening in the computer. I, that could have just been my imagination. But mm -hmm. I did not hear anything, what was happening upstairs. And I felt, literally, it's like I didn't even hear their words, but I felt what my wife and my kids were going through. And then when I went upstairs, I was fully awake all by that point. And I think, so. By, because of that, I rationalized, like, what happened to me was not some hallucinogenic, you know, like, I don't know, did, did, did some, you know, mushrooms or something. I literally, and, and you know me, I don't, I mean, I don't drink alcohol. I don't do weed. I don't do anything. Like, I just mm -hmm. don't like being under the influence. I mean, to the extreme where I don't even, I stopped drinking coffee and everything years ago. Uh, so, so I'm not one of those people. And where were, I, like, I know I was not under the influence of anything, but yet I literally could feel what my wife and my kids were feeling. And it was this weird feeling that it felt like I was expanding. And then, dude, when I, after that, I started researching and finding out. And then, like I said, that what happens in like with some of these cultures in, in, the, in India or, or in the East believe. And I was like, holy shit, they're literally the stuff that they're talking about is kind of what I think I experienced. Like, it's like I experienced being one with everything, you know, or my awareness of it was expanding to become like, it was weird. It was a weird thing. And I can't explain it, but I'll tell you. That then opened me, you know, to a whole other, you know, it's like opens a whole other, like, you know, uh, rabbit hole <laughs> and you can go yeah, into that's it. Interesting. That's really interesting. It's, there's certain things like that where you can't really explain it and it's hard to even, especially since that was, it's a feeling, it's hard to really, really to, um, I guess, put it into words almost. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't even like, cause I remember some people who seemed genuinely interested in my story would ask me. Like, okay, but how, did, what did you see? And it's like, I literally had my eyes closed. I didn't, it's not like that I s saw something or I felt it or smelled it. it. Had nothing to do with my senses. It was the only thing was like, like the feeling. It's like, I felt like I was literally the chair. I felt, you know, yeah. uh, like I, yeah, to the point where I could feel like the, you, you, you know, like you study about it in school, about how the molecules and atoms and neurons and electrons, how they react. 
And I literally could feel, I remember, especially when I went into the computer, I could feel the electrons and everything jumping, like the vibration in it. It was just the weirdest thing. 